Hi everyone, it's me again, Madison, with another DIY video this week. I'm super excited for this one because we are still in the modern look and we're just going to be using different flowers just like last week. So super excited for this one. Um, we have some really fun colors, some very vibrant purples, some accents with some beautiful yellows because yellow and purple actually go very well together. Um, and then we have some really fluffy green trick or also known as green dianthus. So let's get started. All right. So first on the list of things we're going to be using today are our green dianthus. Um, green dianthus is a really cool um, like ornamental flower that we use in floristry all the time. What's really special about it is it looks like moss. Um, it's one of my favorites to use because of that reason. Um, and since it's dianthus, it's also related to things like carnation. So this is actually just another form of that. And it looks so cool. So very excited to get that to you guys this week. Next, we have some Alstromera. Um, Alstromera is very beautiful. Um, it's known as like a type of lily. Um, some people um, call it, I think, an Inca lily is another name for it, which is really cool. Um, it opens up very wide and beautiful, and we have this beautiful yellow reddish color with it this week. So very excited to use that. Now the star of the show, or at least I think the star of the show, um, is going to be our liatris. Now liatris is a very crazy looking plant, um, not to cover my face with them, but what's really cool about them is they're really long and they build a lot of really good height and they're used in modern arrangements all the time. It's actually a part of the aster family, which holds things like sunflowers and daisies, and you would never think that it was a part of that, but it actually is. Um, all of these little flowers, these little tiny composite flowers, are all individual flowers on this really long stick-like um, form. So very excited to use these. Next, we have these purple nexus mums. We've used these before. Purple nexus mums are absolutely beautiful. Um, they're very big and showy, and I think they're going to go great with our colors today. And then lastly, we have some lily glass, not glass, excuse me, lily grass, which is what we're going to be using in our modern arrangement. Lily grass is used a lot inside of modern arrangements because it's really long and cool, very pretty and like slick. Um, and we can tie these and make cool shapes out of them. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I hope you're excited because I am. All right, let's get started. So first what we're going to do is we're going to place our... Um, Liatris. Now, what's really cool about Liatris is, again, it's really fluffy and purple and long. So it's going to really give us that long, outreaching, modern look that we like to use. So I'm going to have five of these. So let's get started. Um, so the, for the first ones, well, one, I'm using a clear glass today. So when you're using clear glass, I want to challenge myself, of course. Um, you want to make sure that you're getting all of those bottom leaves off because when you're doing clear glass arrangements, you don't want the water to look messy or dirty or filled with leaves. So you really want to make sure your mechanics look good. So we're going to make sure we're following our flower mechanics. So I'm going to take off all of those bottom leaves, make sure that none of that is going to get in the water, especially for how short I'm going to do this one first. I'm going to peel off those flowers. Again, you don't want anything in the bottom because you don't want any of that in your water. If you get done with this, I get done with this, and by the end of my arrangement, it's clear glass. I know I've done a good job. All right. Again, we're going to keep doing that same thing. No longer. I'm going to kind of keep my liatris in the middle um, and have everything kind of exploding out of the liatris. What I'm going to make sure again is that none of those bottom leaves get in there. So really want to clean up those stems. Really want to clean up those stems. I'm also making sure I'm getting that crux going in the middle of my vase. So I'm making sure I'm overlapping my um, stems. I'm not going to have a lot of these to work with. So I just want to make sure that I'm getting that mechanism in there. But when I start putting stems in, they're not moving. So we're just going to start building that. Again, no stems in the water. So clean them off really good. Any of those like little extra leaves that you look like are going to die, get rid of those. I'm going to do a more front-facing look this week too. 
which is really cool. And I think modern front facing ones are really pretty. So we're going to make sure we're doing that. And I kind of want these bunched together. All right. I'm going to look at it and see how it looks. Cut them a little shorter. Let me just a little hack, lift them all up. There we go. Much better. I really want those really short and in the water. And if you see any stems in the water, just take them out real quick. All right? Perfect. Now I have my stage is what I call it. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my moss. Have those fan out just a little bit. I want my moss to kind of be at the base of my arrangement. So I'm going to cut them a little lower. Again, take off all of those extra leaves. Don't want any of that in the water. A little shorter. And again, want to make sure I'm following that crux. So when I start putting my longer pieces in it, it doesn't move or anything. So again, putting those a little lower to cover up the base of my vase. Beautiful. Make sure you're lifting and looking up. Beautiful. All right. So now I have a few stems of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off all of those leaves. I'm going to, again, cut that one a little shorter. Take off any flowers that look a little, you know, a little sour. Not good. You know, tuck them in right there. Maybe do a few that are a little taller, but... I really want to fill in that bottom area. Take off any flowers that look a little crazy. Make sure you're looking at your arrangement. Again, I'm using my liatris as kind of like a stage. And then building around it, really flaring out. I kind of want it to look like a fountain or like a pretty little stage. Again, maybe lift these up just a little, get some height. Once we got that crux going, you can really move things around, heighten them a little bit more. Again, look at it. Make sure you're looking at your, there we go. Beautiful. With every stem you put in, you want to make sure that you're looking. See how it looks. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I love how this, like, mossy dianthus looks at the bottom. All right, so I got all my Alstro in there. Again, using this kind of like a staging area. My lash is popping out one way. So since I have lash is coming out this way with the purple, I want purple in other places. So I'm going to see how putting it more outward.